There is an item in the game called a growth egg that doubles the amount of CP you receive from battles. To get this, go to Oerba's abandoned school after beating Bartandalus for the second time. Climb up onto the roof to find a Seath stone which will activate Mark Mission 55. For beating this battle, you'll be rewarded with the growth egg. The mark is in the Archilt step and you'll need a chocobo to get to it. It's in the northern region and should be marked on your map. Make Vanille your party leader with Fang and Hope and make these paradigms with Attrition as your active. Once in the battle, keep using Vanille's death ability on Neochu. It may take several tries before it sticks, but this is the only way to kill him without raising your stats significantly. When it finally works, either use a summon or switch to discretion to carefully take out the remaining Pikachu. If you do this with lower stats, these enemies still will be quite difficult. Switch to Relentless Assault if you're feeling brave, and then back to discretion immediately. Once the battle is done, you'll receive the Growth Egg. For it to work, you need to equip it to someone in your party. Though it's a bit of a walk, the throughway battles in Eden are great places to farm CP quickly. You can get a preemptive strike if you touch one of the enemies that hasn't seen you. Also, by now, you should be able to take down anything in this area. For very short battles, you can get a lot of CP. Another good place to get CP quickly is in the Titans Trials, especially Atticus in E7. Finally, if you hadn't beaten the Tiamat and Eliminator in Chapter 13 yet, you should still have access to the Tesseracts with the Jabberwocky and Bandersnatch and Vladislavs, which is one of the best leveling points in the game. If you don't still have access to the Tesseracts, but you're in a hurry, go to the Titans Throne. Go through A1, B1, C1, then D2, fighting everything you can. The trick is killing these flowering cactars in D2. While you can maybe get two of this group of three, it's possible to kill all five in the next alcove. As soon as the battle begins, summon and then enter Gestalt mode as fast as you can. Let me in on the now the cactars can't run away. With Bahamut, just keep using Hunting Dive or Aerial Loop and you should stagger all five cactars. Finally, Mega Flare should finish them all off. If you keep going through this cycle, you should get enough TP to summon when you get here. If you have the Growth Egg equipped, you can get 75,000 CP just from this battle. It's possible to get over 200,000 CP every cycle if you fight all the enemies in all of these areas.